Alléluia, Alléluia, Alléluia. Beloved, let us give glory to Almighty Jehovah. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. So, beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, immortal, everlasting God, our Savior and our King, this is another day that you have given to your children around the whole world. We are still alive. It is by your mercies that we are still breathing. You are the owner of life. You control life. All things are naked before you. Oh, this morning, we magnify your name. We thank you for the bread, by your power, by your mind. With you, all things are possible. So, Master Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the bread. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are settled in heaven. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, our God is so good. This morning, he has given us a word. And the title of the message is God's plan is the best. So without wasting time, he has given us a message in Ruth, the book of Ruth. And the verse is for, and it starts with four, nine, and 10. Beloved, let's hear the word of God. The book of Ruth, verse four, nine, and 10. And I read. And Boaz said to the elders of the people, you are my witness this day that I have bought all that was Ele, Ele, Elemich and all was Shilons and Melons from the land of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth, the Moabites, the widow of Melon, I have acquired as my wife to perpetrate the name of the dead from his inheritance, that the name of the dead may not be cut off from among the brethren and from his position at the gate. You are my witness this day. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is about roots. And she was obedient. She was obedient to Naomi. And she was a Moabite from another country that followed her mother-in-law, Naomi, back to her country. Obedience go with what? With love as our God is love. So beloved, what we read, it was about Ruth telling her mother-in-law to let her come with her to her land. And she did. And she came with Naomi. Ruth asked Naomi to come with her. And eventually, he came with her. And when they came, Naomi to her country, his husband had a land that he has to sell. So Boaz, who was a rich man in that city, bought it from Naomi. And he called the elders to be the witness that what he has bought from Naomi is his now. And also, he took root as a wife. And eventually, there were so many people that witnessed Boaz. It was the favor of the Lord upon root to excel in foreign land. Whatever God says about us, 
It will surely come to pass. So Naomi was with Ruth and she obeyed Ruth. Whatever she told her, she obeyed her, her mother-in-law. So Boaz took Naomi, took Ruth as her wife and he prepared herself to be with a man that he has become his husband. So this tell us what? Obedience is better in everything. Beloved in Christ, let us obey our God. We will continue from Ruth 4, 13 to 21. And let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. So I read from 13. So Boaz took Ruth and he became his wife. And when he went into her, the Lord gave her a conception and he bore a son. Then the woman said to Naomi, blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a close relative and be his name, be the famous in Israel. 15, and may he be your restorer of life and knowledge of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better for you than a seven, seven sons has bore him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse unto him. And the neighbors, women, gave him a name saying, there is a son born to Naomi and they call his name Obed. And the father of Jesse, the father of David, now this is geology of Paris, and Paris begot Hezon, and Hezon begot Ram, and Ram begot Amaridad, and Amaridad begot Nation, and Nation begot Simon, and Simon begot Boaz, and Boaz begot Obed, and Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David. Beloved, this is the root of our Lord Jesus Christ. So beloved, in Christ, it is God that when we obey our Lord Jesus Christ, he will give us his favor, his infinite plan that he does for his children. It is unique and wonderful. A Moabite came with Naomi, a mother-in-law, and had a favor from our Lord Jesus Christ. His plan by marrying Boaz, I guess there were so many ladies that work in the field in that city, but God's power is the greater than any power. It is like Joseph from prison to prime minister. What a marvelous God we say. Oh, we give him all his glory. He can change any situation. He will make a way where there is no way. Hallelujah. God is so unique. God is so marvelous. We give him all the glory. We have to obey our God by serving him in sincere and in truth. Because he alone can help us. And also with our children, as he did it for Ruth. So it is our God who can bless us and our children in this generation so that our children will be obedient to God Almighty. Oh, we give him all his glory. It is his mercies that endure for us ever. May God Jehovah bless us. May he, what he has ordained for us, surely come to pass. We have to be obedient 
to his word. As God's word is so powerful. As God's word never fail. Oh, we thank him. We praise his holy name. Jehovah alone can change every situation. May he bless this message that he has given us to us, that we should be obedient in everything. We exalt his name. We praise his name. For this morning, he has let us see that being obedient to God, he will change every situation. He did it for root, so he can do it for you and I. Let us obey our God and serve him faithfully and sincere. With him, all things are possible. May his name be praised, oh, our Lord Jesus Christ. And also, may God Almighty, the Holy Spirit, bless his end time prophet that he has ordained, prophet Kenewu, and also their family, and also his listeners, what their heart desire. May God bless them. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we give you all the glory. Amen.